From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Dave DeForest reporting an historic visit to Cuba. The White House says President Barack Obama plans to make a two-day visit to Cuba beginning March 21st. Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes says the president will discuss a wide range of issues with Cuban President Raul Castro, but has no plans to meet his brother Fidel. We see it as a means uh, of pushing forward this normalization process, uh, trying to uh, achieve uh, a greater uh, opening between the United States and Cuba uh, commercially, uh, but also um, uh, supporting and advancing uh, the values that we care about. Mr. Obama plans to meet with dissidents and raise human rights issues. Republican presidential candidates Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, both of Cuban descent, are criticizing the planned trip. Police in Uganda briefly arrested presidential candidate Kiza Besaje after he tried to enter a house he said was being used for rigging the national elections. Besaje was released and taken to his home. It's not clear if he was placed under house arrest. Polls have closed in Uganda and vote counting has begun. Turkey is blaming Wednesday's deadly car bombing in Ankara on a Syrian man with links to Kurdish militia groups. Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu said the attack was carried out by the PKK, Kurdish separatist group. He said the Syrian man was a member of the YPG, the armed faction of a Syrian Kurdish rebel group. The European Union's top migration official says... An Austrian plan to limit the number of asylum seekers is unlawful. In a letter to the Austrian government Thursday, Dimitris Avramopoulos said the Austria has a legal obligation to accept any asylum application that is made on its territory or at its border. This is VOA News. Prime Minister David Cameron is meeting with other European Union leaders at a summit in Brussels where discussions are dominated by the region's migrant crisis and Britain's threatened exit. Lisa Bryant reports. A good deal, but not any deal. That's a message sounded by British Prime Minister David Cameron at the start of the Brussels talks. I'll be battling for Britain. If we can get a good deal, I'll take that deal. But I will not take a deal that doesn't meet what we need. Cameron wants concessions from other EU leaders on key demands that he can present to British voters in a referendum expected later in the year on whether his country will remain in the European Union. Lisa Bryant, Paris. The U.S. and Russia will co-chair an initial meeting of a ceasefire task force in Geneva Friday. The meeting will take place under the auspices of the United Nations. The task force will explore prospects for a long-range ceasefire in Syria. The 17-nation International Syria Support Group devised the plan for the task force during its meeting last week in Munich. Pope Francis says it is acceptable to use artificial contraception in response to the Zika virus, a disease that could cause birth defects. But the Pope maintained the church's stand against abortion, calling it an absolute evil. Pope Francis injected himself into the U.S. presidential race Thursday, suggesting Republican frontrunner Donald Trump is not Christian because of his proposal to build a wall along the southern U.S. border with Mexico. The wall would be intended to keep out illegal migrants headed for the United States. Trump, a Presbyterian, said at a campaign rally that the Pope's comments were, in his words, not a nice thing to say and disgraceful. The remark by Pope Francis comes just two days ahead of a crucial party nominating contest in the state of South Carolina, where political surveys show Trump with a commanding lead over five Republican challengers. Authorities in Ghana say at least 53 people died in a collision between a bus and a truck on a highway north of the capital, Accra. It is believed to be one of 
Ghana's worst road accidents in years. The White House says President Barack Obama has started the process of finding a nominee to replace the late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. Spokesman Josh Ernest said Thursday that Mr. Obama intends to nominate someone quickly. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says there will be no confirmation hearings for any Obama nominee. Many Republicans think the next president should make the nomination. The White House insists the Senate is obligated to consider a new justice. On Wall Street, U.S. stock indexes were up at the close of a uh, down rather at the close of trade today. In Europe, stocks were mixed. I'm Dave DeForest in Washington. That's the latest world news from VOA.